Hello, and welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss Policy D in the CWP Admin Panel. Policy D is short for Policy Daemon, and is a plugin that's used to limit incoming and outgoing emails per hour to help control spam and email server overloads. To set this up in CWP, log into your Admin Panel, and in the sidebar, scroll down to the Email subsection, twirl down, and click on Mail Server Manager. Here you can rebuild your mail server with a variety of anti-spam and antivirus protections. In this case, we're going to be taking a look at Policy D. So here we'll put a check mark to install Policy D to enable hourly email limits per domain. The default limit for all incoming and outgoing mail domains is 250 per hour. However, this default policy is in use only if the domain has no other policies configured. Now, as we scroll down, we can specify the host name and domain of the mail server that we're going to rebuild. Then click Rebuild Mail Server. And click OK to confirm. And in just a few seconds, we see the success dialogs letting us know that Policy D has been installed on our mail server. If you prefer, you can install Policy D over SSH command by running this command from the SSH. SH space slash scripts slash install underscore CB Policy D. Now let's go ahead and test this Policy D. Let's take a look at our user accounts and see the list of accounts. And in this case, we are going to use this user here, Tutorial. And Tutorial is subscribed to the basic package. So let's go to our packages. And we'll just see what the basic package allows in terms of hourly emails. Here across the top, we see all the hourly emails specified. And we'll just look down the package listings. And here's the basic account, which allows 75 hourly emails. So our tutorial user is permitted to send 75 outgoing emails hourly. Now it should be pointed out that these hourly limits are only for outgoing emails that are sent by each user of this package. Incoming emails received are limited server-wide by the default policy, which by default limits all email accounts on the server to 250 incoming emails per domain per hour. So for example, if domain1.com on this server receives 250 emails from the same domain, let's say Gmail, the default 250 limit is exceeded on the server for that incoming domain, Gmail. And therefore, if any more email is incoming from Gmail, then nobody else on the server will be able to receive that email, including domain2.com, domain3.com, or any other email domains hosted on that same server. This is good for spam protection as it limits the number of emails which can be sent from the same server. Let's go back to the email subsection here, drop that down, and let's open our webmail. We'll just log in here. And now let's send a test email and we'll call this test and test for the subject body and we'll go ahead and send that now we could use an SSH client such as putty to run a tail command on this email to track it or we can just go back to CWP and here in the sidebar under file management we can select the CWP log viewer. And we're going to look at the mail log. So we'll just scroll down to the mail section and select mail log. You can also view the mail log by searching for the mail log file in your file manager. And that will be in your root directory slash VAR slash log slash mail log. And what we're looking for is usually contained within the last 100 lines or so of the mail log. So let's just go ahead and search. 
and we'll just go straight to the bottom of this 100 lines and then scroll back up looking for the policy D info here. Oh, and there it is. We just passed it. Okay, so this is the section that we're interested in here. This shows the test email and it was from test one at our domain. And here's the recipient that we sent to. And we can see specifically here that the counter message count quota is one email out of 75, which represents 1.3% of the quota. So if we go back to our webmail and we send another test and send, if we had already exceeded our policy D limits and we attempted to send this email, we would receive an SMTP error 450, failed to add recipient with the email address 4.7.1 recipient address rejected zero. We can go back to our log, do a fresh search of the mail log, scroll back down and find our quota. Here we can see that our quota reflects the new email that we sent. And we can see that it doesn't actually show the whole number of two emails sent in the last hour. It shows 1.94. And the reason that this is not a whole number is because this is calculated hourly and a minute or two has already passed since we sent the first one. Now, if we turn the policy D off, let's go back to email, back to mail server manager, and we'll deactivate the policy D and rebuild our mail server. When the mail server rebuilds without the policy D installed, we can go back to our webmail. And we will send a test email again. And send. And then go back to CWP back to our file manager, back to CWP log viewer, and we will choose the mail log and view the last 100 lines, scroll down to the bottom, and then scroll back up to find our email. And we'll find the email that was sent here, but with no mention of the policy D, or a mail count quota limit. Now let's take a closer look at the policy D module. Over in the left sidebar, we'll scroll down to our email subsection and scroll down to policy D hourly limits. And this opens the policy D policies module, but as we can see here, that policy D is not installed. And of course, that's because I just deactivated it. So we can install it by running either the shell command or by just going back to the mail server manager here in the email subsection. And clicking the check mark to install policy D and then rebuild mail server. And now that our policy D is installed, we can go back to the email subsection and select policy D hourly limits. And this opens the policy D policies and packages module where we can view, add, update, and delete policy D packages. And now that policy D is installed, we can see all of our various policies, packages, and priorities. In the table below, we'll see all of our various policy IDs that we've created, as well as their attached package ID, their name, the priority that's attached to each policy, the description, as well as the limits. Now the table is set by default to only show the first 10 and we can go to page two or we can just expand our table to show all entries. Within this module, we can check to see which package each domain is using. So to do that, we can just select policies in use. And here we'll see all of our various domains in this table alongside their policy ID in use. So for example, this video instructions domain is attached to policy ID 10, as well as a few others, 
a couple are using policy 11, and one is using policy 13. And here are the various limits set out for each, and all of these are a 19 priority. If we look back in the table here, we can see all of our various policy IDs, and here are policies 10, 11, and 13. So we know that all of those domains were using these various packages, the basic package, the premium package, or this rapid serve three package. The video instructions domain that we were just looking up is using the basic package, policy 10. And here we see the 75 hourly emails confirmed. These priority numbers here refer to the four levels of priority that CWP assigns to these email policies. The lower the number, the higher the priority. And other than testing, CWP sets the default limit at 20, which is the lowest priority of the four levels. The next priority level above that would be the package level of 19. And this is the priority automatically assigned to any packages. So as you can see, all of these are package entries that we have here, and they're all assigned the same priority. The next level of priority would be number 18, which is reserved for users. Since we don't have any users showing on our table here, let's go to the top and we'll add one. So we'll add a new policy here. And this policy type, we have a choice of package level, which would be priority 19. User level is policy 18. And domain level is policy 17. So let's start with user. And we'll set an hourly limit. We'll just say 100 for this example. And then we'll select a user. And we'll just assign this to this user here and then submit. And now if we expand our table and scroll down, we will see this new user policy with a priority of 18. And user policies are differentiated by the user preface on the name, as well as the package ID starting with a 1000 series. So let's go back up and let's add another policy here. Let's make this one a domain level policy and we'll just set their limit to 100 as well and then select a domain. We'll assign it to this extra video and submit. And again, we'll expand our table and scroll down. And here we see our new domain policy with a priority of 17, which in this hierarchy is the highest priority. And that is also differentiated by the domain prefix here, as well as their policy ID starting with a 10,000 series. Now, if you need to make custom changes to any of these entries here, you can do so by clicking the edit icon here under the limits column. So for example, let's edit the hourly limit for this domain here instead of 100. We'll click on the edit icon and that opens the edit field here. And we'll just change that to 150 and then confirm and scroll back down. And there is our new limits updated. And we could do the same thing for our user and package entries as well. And if you wanted to block a user from sending any emails completely, we could just go ahead and edit their hourly limit and set that to zero. And now their outgoing email limit has been set to zero. So that completely blocks email sending for this user. We could also do the same thing for a domain. We could set this to zero. And now all outgoing email sending for this domain has been blocked. If you'd like to know more information about Policy D, we have a very detailed entry on the CWP wiki, and you can look that up at the following link. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.